Hello, peeps! Today we're gonna start part 3 of the 3 part series Too Many Tattoo Styles. This time we're gonna talk about the realistic tattoo. Of course, we're gonna address a realistic tattoo that also could be assigned to other categories. But I have put them in the realistic category. Why, you might ask? Well, because of the realistic or 3D look that they have. So I thought let's put them there. If you like to chat with me, I do also live streams on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Wednesday and Saturday I play Hollow Knight, beautiful game. I play this till it's finished, or I end it. It's a very beautiful game, nice graphics, better check it out. Monday, Friday and Sunday I make designs for logo, tattoos, avatars, you name it. Which link will be down in the description. Suggestions always welcome, put them down below in the comments. I really like to read them. And without further ado, let's jump right in it. We'll be back in five minutes. Of course, we will. And here we are, too many tattoo styles, part 3. I smoke restrictions. Realistic tattoo. We start with the black and grey. What can we say about black and grey tattoo? First of all, the black and grey tattoo is a collage mostly of more realistic pictures put together in a wonderful design that can be used as a beautiful tattoo design depending on the place where it has to come. Uh, like on the left, it's a picture of a skull and a picture of a hand put together in a nice composition. Black and grey uh, means that's a, a perfect control of the values on the skin. The values contrast to what they also call in the black and grey scales and you can make a tattoo real, a really realistic. It's a good understanding of values in black and grey. A tip that I can give you if you want a realistic tattoo, a black and grey realistic tattoo is if you go to your artist, search for the pictures that you want to use in your realistic tattoo. If you want a hand, use a picture of a hand, not a picture of a hand tattoo of a hand because tattoos the skin is not a flat surface so if you have a hand here on the side all the details will disappear and go flattened because it's round everything here is gone everything on the surface you will see that it's distorted so if you go to your artist and you want a realistic tattoo take pictures of what you want if you want an angel Take pictures of statues of angels that you find or are on the internet. Like Julius Caesar on the right here. This one here. That's Julius Caesar. It's from a statue. Take pictures of look for pictures of the statue. You have the best result in your realistic tattoo. If you take a picture like this one, you also have lost details and quality. Because this one is already a copy of a picture of the statue and he, every artist cannot copy like a copy machine so he will lose detail in the progress if you make another copy of this one you will lose more in the progress and the quality will go more down so it's always very interesting to know if you want a realistic tattoo take the pictures of what you want and how you want to put them together. Go to your artist and tell him, well, this is what I want, this is how I see it. And if it's a good tattoo artist, you will make a very good design, a very nice collage with it for the part of the body you want. Then we go to the portrait tattoo. Aim for the portrait tattoo. Always look for a good picture, not a tattoo, not a picture of a tattoo. Find the picture of the 
person that you want. And you have the best result. And the portrait tattoo left and the middle is realistic. The right one is also portrait tattoo. It's not realistic. It's line work. It's sketchy. But I want to tell you that some of the portraits can be in another category. So you can put it in new school. You can put it in neo traditional. You can I think you can put it in every other category. But it puts the a portrait of the person. If you recognize the person, it's a portrait. And then we go to the next one, and then we have a biomechanical tattoo. A biomechanical tattoo is like a, if you ever see the movie Terminator 2 when he cut his arm open and you see this robot skeleton, that's like a biomechanical tattoo. And that's like a robot underneath the skin. You can put it on the skin like this fellow here. Yeah, it's also by mechanical, but you have then other things like the clock and then the compass. But most of, of them there are eh, mechanical things in it. And here on the left, you see also biomechanical, but it's more uh, like an alien kind of biomechanical. And this is more like a robot like Terminator, and then this one on the right also. But it gives a real a realistic feel because the skin is ripped re uh, really realistic and it looks like the metal is underneath it. Okay, and then we have the anatomical tattoo. You see I put different pixels in. What's an anatomical tattoo? That's the atom anatomic from the people, eh? from, from human, the human body. Here you see the muscles from the human body. Here are the blood veins from the human body. And this is the bone structure of the human body on the skin. I will forget uh, about this one for a second. This is to let you know that this is like the biomechanical, that it goes with the go of the body, of the structure of the body. Like this is a feet, and you see this feet, it's a bone structure of a feet and it it goes with the feet. And this go with the veins. And this go with the muscle structure of human. This is a heart, and it's not on the heart. It's on an arm. A tattoo on the arm. And the heart doesn't goes on the arm. It goes on the chest. It just and this is also an anatomical tattoo. Why? It's a piece of the body. It doesn't has to be on the right place in the body. Of course, it's interesting that the uh, surgeon know where to cut from. Uh, there is a heart. Eh? <laughs> and then we go to the 3D tattoo. 3D tattoo is just a realistic tattoo that gives a 3D feel like it's really there. It's really like the, the palm of the animal. Don't know what animal. Don't ask me if I see it. If it has nails, it has toes. So it's looks like a really print of a, an animal. And this is like it's really in the chest. Here you have the highlights hitting here on the top of the hexagons. You have the shadow here. If you see the light it will come from above but more from this side. And this is over this one and it gives a really a real a real feel. Like it's really in there and that's 3d and it's also realistic like the butterfly it's just a butterfly you put a, a sheet underneath it it's like it's really there and it's still a tattoo and this is not it's also realistic but you can put it also in the surrealistic way of the what you call it yeah, surrealistic but it's yeah it's gray white and it just give a feel that the, the holes are real in it. And I think it's a nice design. Then you have the wood and stone, like the palm of the beast tiger. I, I don't know. It's carved in and it gives a really realistic feel. This one you also can put in the 3D tattoos category because it looks like it's really it out and get in and looks like it's really there. Also for this if you want realistic tattoo like this 
that you are pissed has to have a good understanding of the values and of the shading light how it all feels and how, how it all connects together but it's for you as client to look for a good picture that represent it all if you can't find a picture you can find the artist that really understands what he's doing that can make a really realistic work and then you have the broken glass tattoo <coughs> the two on the left uh, on the right sorry two on the right here are uh, realistic eh? because the glass it looks like it's really there it's not 100 percent realistic the one with the woman and the glass is 100 percent of almost 100 percent realistic it's very very close to 100 percent this one is uh, there is white in it and you have the feel it's realistic so it's very nice and then the line is just broken glass laying on the surface with that line face in it and the, totally on the left you have just the line work and black in it to give the feel from look this is a broken glass and then you have the inverted tattoo inverted uh, see just everything that's normal is inverted like the text here the normal would this would be black the lines would be black and this is saved out and everything around it is made black that's inverted also with this this is picture a realistic picture that's why it's in the realistic category the realistic picture put in photoshop inverted and everything that's normally a light is dark and everything that's normally dark is light that's how we get this effect that's also why i put it in the realistic uh, category feel like this is more from uh, the watercolor like we see a few things before this this is normal this is inverted so i put this in so you can make a good understanding try that you understand it what i mean about normal and inverted here also invert black all around the power or the white parts so inverted normally they put this on it and shade it and finished then you have silhouette tattoo it's also for me it's, it's realistic because it's not all realistic eh? this is like a, a son with his, with his father walking towards the sunset you see a little casting shading from the, in the water and normally a silhouette in the realistic life a silhouette you only, only see when the sun is behind the person so you can see the light the light source is behind the person so you have a dark silhouette and that's, that's what makes it realistic if you put a silhouette just dark silhouette from a person and then you make a nice realistic background with clouds and sun and trees and whatever and you have a realistic tattoo with just a silhouette this silhouette is just a silhouette like the one that you see with the dead but there's something put in it eh? the artist in the freedom to put a skull inside the silhouette to make it um, uh, much interesting and it's nice this is also a silhouette but it's not a realistic just a silhouette of a flower and a skull beside it it's also a silhouette and this is a silhouette of a, a hunter a gun and he caught uh they call it moose something <laughs> ambi this verse and we go to the sticker and patches this is also realistic and also can go with the 3D tattoos and because it looks like it's really on the skin. This is, looks like it's really etched on the skin. Etched on the skin. That is what 3D is. 3D is uh, like it's really on there. While well, it's not. And we have stained glass tattoo. Why I put this in the realistic? But it could also be in the neo traditional style. But uh, normally the realistic stained glass you see this mostly in churches sorts of uh, temple churches i don't know uh, but it has a realistic feel because like this jesus here like it's real stained glass on the skin from beautiful color also which respect to the artist here 
And then you have the tree. It's a little bit less uh, detailed, but not a bad piece at all. Just like this in the, in the middle is it's really, uh, really realistic and this is more like a realistic but more like a neo-traditional style. Then you have subscribe style. Yeah, that will say that uh, you have to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell if you still want to see my content and if you like this video and you like my content, give it a like if you like this video. <laughs> I know I talk a lot, sorry for that, and I'm not good with my words, I know that also, but I appreciate it. If you, if you would give it a like and give it a share if you think friends should see this. If the information in it was really interesting. Uh, I'm gonna leave you now, this was the end of part 3 and the end of the 3 part series. Hello, and this was it then for this video. Too many tattoo styles part 3 and by this the end of the series in, I told in one of the first series that I had an announcement to make and that I want to hey, that I gonna shave my beard if I had if I hit a thousand subscribers no it's a lot but I have time in lockdown so if you want to support me please subscribe and this beard will go <laughs> and if you don't subscribe I will look like Gandalf the Grey <laughs> maybe the white if it takes 20 years before <laughs> I hit like a thousand uh, subscribers but uh, anyways I do this with fun I love it I'm not good at it but every video that I make I see myself improve a little bit I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do and uh, would like really, really love it and appreciate it if you support me. And thank you for watching. Bye.